Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Legends of Breath of the Wild. We've uh, unlocked another portion of the map, and let's talk to Cass here. What if? No, but then. Hmm. Hmm. Forgive me. I was lost in a song written by my late teacher. He wrote it for the hero who fell to the calamity a hundred years ago. So much time has passed, and yet the hero has not yet returned. But my teacher always kept faith. I hope to play the song for the hero someday, so I will practice it often. Oh, forgive me, it seems I have prattled on. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Let's hear it. Excellent, without further ado. As light shines from the northwest skies, from the tower's shadow, an arrow flies. Pierce heaven's light to reveal the prize. I still don't quite understand the lyrics, but knowing my teacher, they're the key to revealing a secret. Best of luck, and may the light illuminate your path. Hopefully it doesn't though, because I need the sign of the shadow. So... We need the sun to be, I believe, around midday. Something like that. It might actually not actually be that where it needs to be yet. But from this platform here, we need to be able to see the sun over the top of the tower. So I might be here a little bit. This also works with the moon though. Which is funny, because it's the moon. And if I could get it to actually be the moon right now, that would be really good. Just, it just needs to be the sun or the moon over the top of the tower. I don't know if I should wait, or if I should just... I don't know. Well, while I'm here, I guess I can explain that I think that the, um, the weather bar down next to our map, I think that's for every three hours that it's sunny or whatever it is. But I don't think it's uh, exactly on the clock. I think it's like 11.30, for example, to 10, no, three hours after that. I don't know. Something around that. I'm pretty sure it's three hours, but anyway. Yeah, this is going to take a while. I'm going to cut ahead. Okay, I can't see the sun. So I'm going to hope that I haven't missed my opportunity because I can't see because the clouds and I can't see the sun is just... I don't even know. I might... Where's the, the shadow for the tower? That's the real tell, I think. Okay, it's coming this way. So I haven't missed it yet. It is getting close, though. How close is the question? Once it actually gets a little bit closer, I might actually know for sure. Need to wait for the shadow. That's that's the thing. Shadow is when... Yeah. Okay, so I understand what I'm waiting for now. I just need to actually not m miss it. Okay. Oh, here it comes. This is lit up. Which probably means I can do it now. Just gonna shoot like that. And there we go. As I said, you can also do this when the moon is over the top of the tower. So, you know, do whatever you want. This one just seemed to be easier to do at day because it wasn't that far away anyway. And I'm pretty sure if you sleep until noon at a campfire, it'll probably be correct anyway, so. Sign of the shadow complete. A modest test of strength. Now, I don't have any meals, regular meals left. That could be a problem. But I think I might actually be alright, somewhat. I've been playing fairly well, so I think I can probably do this. 
Must just do a whole bunch of this. Absolutely ruin his day. Goodbye. Knight's Claymore broke, but that's okay because I've got more weapons. I might even beat it before it does any of its other moves. Other than that spin and everything else. Okay, here we go. Ow, oh, come on, really? Anyway, I can still shoot it in the face. And if I hit it in its eye, I do extra damage, so... Oh, here we go. Ow, don't shoot me. You're not allowed to shoot me. That's so rude. Casey doing his final blast. Well, he's not at this point. Here we go. Now, let's have a look at this stuff on the ground. Guardian Spear. And the Guardian Sword Plus. Here we go. Guardian Sword Plus. This sword, Guardian Sword has been enhanced, has enhanced power over the standard model. Its cutting capabilities are improved. It's literally cutting edge technology. I'll leave now. And its durability has seen a slight uptick. Grab all that. Grab all the cutting edge technology. I'm s I'm. I say I'm sorry, but I'm not. And we also got a frost blade, a magical sword, forged in the frigid mountains of Hebra of the he Hebra region. When the blade glows blue, enemies struck by it will become frozen. So let's drop it on the ground and take a picture of it. Yeah. My favorite. It looks really cool though with the thing slowly going up it. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's just quickly figure out which way I'm going, and then let's go and try and get that shrine that's in the middle of this sandstorm over here. It's same rules as before, just a different area, and I need to make sure I get it, so. I should be able to get it because I've pinned it down on my map, but I'm not going to be able to see my map for a little bit. Oh, it's fine. I can see exactly where it is, and I'm not even... This doesn't count as being in the sandstorm yet, so. This is perfect. Yeah, now I can't see, but that's fine because I'm already here. Cheating for the win. It's not that hard to just walk from the road here anyway. You just need to follow your marker and you should be good. Just head in that direction before the map goes away, and then just don't turn off that point, basically. Let's see what we've got. Electric Path. I think I saw this one recently, actually. So... Let's just... Oh, I probably should have taken a picture of you. I can still do that. Just blowing up. I'm glad that that counts. Ah, oh, this game is nice to me sometimes. Now, we also need to get that orb over there. To this side. I don't think... Well, it's not actually an orb, it's a cube. It's an ice cube. Not really, though. So, let's just go ahead and grab that. We need to make sure it stays in contact with the bar though, so that I keep moving forward. Or backward, so I can get back across this thing. Just need to hold it against this and it should be fine. Easy, easy money. And there we go. Where'd it go? It dropped off, really? That wasn't going to work. I don't know why I tr tried. Anyway, we can see part of the level from over here. There we go. But why did it drop? I was fine, and I made it to the end. And then I just let go off the edge. Probably because there's a wall here. Why? Why? Okay, here we go again. This time, let's just try holding on this side of the bar. 
on our level. Just like that. This should work a little bit better than the other way. So I need to make sure that we don't drop it accidentally because of the wall. Okay, let's go. We can keep using magnesis on it, or we can pick it up, like the orbs. Oh, there's an actual thing here. Might want to pick that up. Might also... No, hang on. Do that, and then... Do that, and let's grab this. A Moonlight Scimitar. Good. Just what I need, maybe. Got some Guardians up ahead. But I don't think there'll be much of a problem. And the reason why I think that is because they made a fatal mistake of standing on top of metal. Absolutely amazing. Now let's just put that up there, I guess. It's probably going to be a bit of a problem when I want to move that block, but I've also got Magnesis to move that block for me. Like that. So, let's just grab that again. Bring that to my level. <laughs> Bounce it on my head and whistle. You know, normal things. I'll put that down for a second. If I go down here, we can actually see where we were when we got the or, or the cube. So let's activate that. Which is a quick shortcut if we want to go up or down. From the, the cube spawning point. And actually, it goes down even further than that. So let's just hop right down, and let's get this treasure chest here. Silver rupee, 100 rupees. I love getting free rupees. Just have to wait for this to come back down. Okay, there we go. And let's go back up. How are we doing for chests in this shrine? We don't have all of them, but that's okay. Gonna take me up even further, please? Thank you. You just need to talk to the game, and the game will listen to you. <laughs> Not in a creepy way. It's it's fine. Anyway. Oh, I'm gonna be too slow for this. No, it's... No. It's a good thing it doesn't go very far. Also, am I crazy, or is... No, it's fine. Okay. Up we go, please. First floor. Elevator. Please. One day. There we go. So now, let's just put this onto here. Activating that. Which brings the platform over. Very cool. Now there's also another chest over there that I do want to get. It's not... Uh, made of metal, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to get, especially because this thing here, this platform, goes right into that block there, which is going to be a problem. In a second. It'll, it'll be a problem in a second. Don't worry about it. What is happening? Okay, just randomly stopped. Oh, and that's going electrical now. Just need to do it like that. Okay, and if I can get to that chest now. Thank you. Let's grab that. Radiant Shield. The ex this extravagant uh, shield is presented to Gerudo warriors who rise to the rank of captain. Its appearance, uh, its apparent opulence is rivaled only by its combat abilities. Okay, and now, to make a flying leap! There we go. And there we- that should be everything in the shrine. No, it's not! I missed something. But how did I miss something? I got all that there. Oh! Okay. There's just a chest down here. Ancient core. And now let's get to the end of this, which means I have to go through two elevators and move the block again and just... The jump that I made, the flying leap, was for nothing. So sad. Heh. 
Wall jump. Wall jump, please. I wish I could wall jump. I can jump, but I can't wall jump. <sighs> okay. Let's hope that this is going to be almost to us. Almost. There we go. We don't need to take the electric thing with us as well. Which is good. Okay, this is just stopping for some reason. Oh, go away. Go away. Go over there, please. Thank you. There's a few of these orb these, these things here on the look different, which I think is where you stop, but some of them don't look different. Anyway. So now that we have all that, let's head back to Gerudo Town. I'm going to get rid of that pin there because that's going to annoy me. Okay, let's just get changed so we can actually go in. And I would probably prefer it to be daytime probably I think there's a cooking pot around here as well I might want to use that to prepare myself since I've really been kind of barely holding on all this music though at night it's the same daytime th as the daytime thing but just a little bit different and it makes me very happy oh I have a <laughs> I actually do have space for that good so anyway, I think I'm going to do some cooking and then I'll be back. Okay, so now that all that is done, let's sort our inventory. And now, we actually have no more space for meals. I made quite a few just regular meals. Some of them are really actually a lot better than regular, but... That's fine. There's also some more full restores, because of course. And some of them have effects, but I don't really care about the effects that much, so. So for now, let's head up into the palace to see Riju. Except she's not here. If you're looking for Lady Riju, she's on the second floor. Normally people aren't allowed in her sleeping quarters, but she has given you permission to it permission it seems be on your best manners if she uh, if she deems you to be a disturbance to her it will not end well for you okay I'm just gonna go upstairs now bye you have anything to say me you've got permission to enter the chief's bedroom who are you I'm me I've been waiting for you. Oh, you needn't say a word. As the chief of the Gerudo, I can sense the power of the Elm flowing from you. I know you, that you've succeeded. I am, as you have no doubt noticed, still but a child. But uh, the people look on me with nothing but warmth in their eyes. But even this brings me some pain, I must admit. I've tried so hard to be worthy of their love. To be a worthy chief, and to prove to myself that I uh, was worthy too. When my family heirloom was stolen, I felt as though a shadow had fallen over me. Yes, your arrival in the midst of all this must be the work of Lady Abosa. Now, please give me the helm. Um, how do I look?
Ah, well, you certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today. Still as the sands now. So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? <laughs> it's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, she's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this ceiling power. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... Urbusa! What was that? Did you feel that? Wait, what? How did you... What are you doing here? <laughs> what, what's so funny? <laughs> What's wrong? You're just staring. Anyway, what matters now is... How... how is it? Do I look alright? It looks good. I see. The threat to Vine Beast Vanaboros poses has only grown since we began searching for the heirloom. I believe that Gerudo Town itself may be in danger before too long. As chief and as a Gerudo, I must find some way to stop that uh, thing before it threatens my people. Will you help me? Er, uh, not right now. Of course I will. <laughs> Who would have thought that just before such a momentous battle, hearing a simple confident pledge of support from you would be what puts me at ease? I'll head out now. Let's meet up at the at the lookout post south of town. There's only one way to get close to Naboris, and that's with the help of a sand seal. The lookout post isn't too far from town, but you should take a sand seal there. You can get some practice in that way. I'll be there waiting for you with any, with my favorite sand seal, Patricia. Still, it's really, it really is a little big. Naboris or the, the, the Thunderhelm? Anyway, let's get started on that. And I'm gonna definitely rent out a sand seal for this. Also, while I'm here, now I'll look at that after, probably. Okay, let's just head on over all this. Gotta keep up. If you're hoping to cross the vast screwed desert, a sand seal is a must. It's... it's... it'd be uh, silly not to have one. Very good pun, I approve. It's only 20 rupees to rent one. Need a shield? Just pay 50 rupees. What do you say? Sand? Seal? Sealiously? Let's seal the deal. How do I... how do I set seal? Seal you later! Oh my goodness. I didn't realize these were all puns until now. Let's seal the deal. Oh, seal you another time. Oh my goodness. The puns are just all over the place. 
Anyway, we've already had a bit of practice with the sand seal before. You can also see that area over there we'll have to go to in a minute. And by a minute, I mean like maybe an hour, half hour, maybe something like that. So let's head up here. Oh, I have to get off. This is actually rock ground. Or just really hard sand. Sandstone. Perfect. Let's head on up here. All the way up here. And here's Riju. What a sight. Divine Beast Thunderborus. It's pretty. It, Divine Beast Thunderborus is pretty intimidating. If we want to get close enough to that thing, we'll, we'll need uh, to use sand seals. Are you ready? Of course. Oh. Feeling confident? Good, let's get going then. First, uh, we'll use the sand seals to get in really close to that thing. I'll take the lead. I'm counting on you to shoot at its feet with bomb arrows. Namboros draws energy from the ground to keep moving. If you damage the feet, I think you can stop it. Those lightning strikes though. Getting hit even once would prove fatal. The Thunder Helm can repel the lightning strikes, protecting me from harm. But it can also shield a uh, limited area around me. You will have to stay close if you don't want to be shocked. Mm. And listen, if you're too injured to keep fighting, promise me you'll retreat here to the lookout post. Uh, don't do anything reckless under my under any circumstances. Here are some Grudo bomb arrows. They aren't many, so be sure to put them to good use. Bundle of 20. This is the last time I'll ask. Are you ready? Let's go. Could you give me a bit of room, just for a moment? My name is Riju, descendant of the royal line and leader of the Grudo people. With the power of the heirloom passed down in my family, I shall calm the divine beast Varnaboros. Ancestors of the Grudo, answer my call. Aid me in this task. Oh wow, I can feel that power coursing through me. Let's move. <laughs> Lady Obosa, please grant Link and me your protection. Here we go. So we have to dash to stay close to Riju as much as possible. Also holding forward I think to actually stay a little bit back and actually hold back if I need to as well. It's a little bit difficult to stay close, just a little bit. But I'll probably get used to it because if I don't I'm going to get struck by a lightning. She's not going very fast at the moment, which makes things a little bit easier. I think she actually tries to keep up with you if you go a little bit too far ahead. Oh, going the wrong way. Follow you? But you're behind me. Just gonna slow down just a little bit. Oh my goodness. Slow down. Good, good. Slow down. No. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to get the balance right, otherwise I'm gonna be very dead. Come on, please. This music's very epic, though. Oh, it's charging its laser beams. You can see it's targeting me, so let's try to stay within the bubble. Oh my goodness. Not yet, okay. Now's our chance. Okay, which one do you want me to do? Okay, let's blow that up. I think we have to hit them multiple times as well. But we're doing fairly well for now. Stay within. Oh, 
doing very well. Extremely well right now. Oh, I can't see. It may take a little bit of time to actually get them all, but I'm doing really well. So it's already done. Unfortunately, I cannot appease Naboris on my own. I have no choice but to entrust the rest to you. I can't wait to see you take Noboris back from Ganon. One thing at a time. You'll need a map to find your way around. Head over to that Guidance Stone over there. Sounds easy, right? Welcome to Varnaboris. My first... Um, this was my first Divine Beast that I did. And I had a lot of trouble with it. So we'll be looking at this next time. And hopefully I'll do a lot better than I did my first time through this. So for now, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you...